Hello, hello everyone. Uh, Fex is back uh, with a brand new tutorial for After Effects. So I've been not doing tutorials for quite a while as you guys uh, see uh, on the channel, but uh, I'm back and I'm going to, um, to teach you a few uh, cool uh, techniques uh, on After Effects so you can make a, a cool logo reveal. So after this, you're going to be able to make uh, this kind of animation as you guys see over here and just check it out. Yeah, it's just a simple uh, logo reveal that you guys can uh, learn uh, here at the FX uh, channel house. So, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, hope you guys enjoy uh, this uh, walkthrough. And uh, yeah, let's get ready for it. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is just to open a new project, make a new composition, uh, 1920 by 1080, 30, 30 frames FPS, it's okay. And uh, I'm going to put a layer for the background, just a new solid gonna call it background alrighty so we have our background over here and what we need uh, to start uh, putting over here uh, is our logo and also um, or our text so I'm gonna make the text um, after this one uh, but it's gonna be really easy so I'm gonna start importing my logo uh, I'm gonna leave uh, also this logo for you guys um, to follow up the tutorial easily and um, all right, we got our logo. I'm gonna put my logo over here. And uh, as you see, my logo is a little bit too big. So I'm gonna rescale this for a little bit less. All right, we have our logo uh, for the base start for the animation. And what I'm gonna do now, uh, because we're gonna need um, another logo uh, for, the, um, for some variation uh, on the color of this. Um, and I'm going to just uh, hit uh, Control D so we can copy this one out and I'm gonna I'm gonna go back for my first uh, logo so I'm gonna uh, make a right click I'm gonna make a pre-compose on this one I'm gonna call it logo or text that's cool and uh, now we're, we're gonna make a new layer over here I'm gonna bring a new solid and this solid is gonna be called the the animation so animation that's all right. So uh, here on the uh, on the on this uh, layer of the animation is is where everything is going to run uh, uh, on the way for the animation. So I'm gonna I'm gonna here to effects and presets. I'm gonna start uh, putting my uh, my effects on this so we can make this animation. So the first one is gonna be the circle. I'm gonna generate circle on the animation. Okay. Also, I need uh, the Rogan edges. All right, we got Rogan edges, and we also need um, turbulence displays. All right, turbulence. Where is the turbulence displays? Just hold on a little bit. All right, we got turbulence displays over here, and as you see, we're gonna have this and we can start our animation from this so um, uh, on this circle I'm gonna animate this uh, to I'm gonna uh, first I'm going to just um, take this off so we can see the um, our layer and our, our animation how is this is going on so we have a circle over here and we're gonna bring the animation for this circle I'm gonna just open this effects so we can add uh, some keyframes on this so as a start, we already have on 75% radius, uh, we're gonna put this on zero, and we're gonna hit a keyframe over here, and we're gonna bring this to around five seconds, should be quite good, and we're gonna increase our layer, kinda like as we can fill uh, the, whole, um, the whole layout uh, for, the, for the video. So we have our animation over here, as you guys see, and yeah, it's looking cool. So what we're going to do now is start to, to making some modifications uh, on this effect. So this can make um, a kind of like of that effect <coughs> that I showed on the beginning. So I'm going to start um, playing around uh, with this. So I'm going to, on the edge type, I'm going to put this on uh, spiky. So we can have, I'm going to zoom this a little bit more so you guys can see the, the detail that this has. So I'm going to put a little bit of fractal, or a little bit less, and I'm going to scale this a little bit 
kind of like this so we can have a little bit a little bit more randomness but uh, more is going to be on the on the on the turbulence uh, displays so we have over here this spiky border i'm going to put this with a lot more borders so we can see these spikes already going off which is kind of cool uh, you can increase this a lot more so we can have a different and um and a better uh, detailed texture over here because this is going to drive uh, your logo to show up and to reveal so this is a this is just a simple logo reveal i'm just taking a little bit of time so you guys can see which settings can you mix and which settings can you can you do uh, for your animation so as you guys see you already have like this kind of a uh, uh, layer reveal i can you can as you can see and it has like a really cool detail over here so i'm gonna start messing up with my turbulence displays over here and i'm gonna jack this around like this so i really like this kind of lines that you guys see over here it's kind of like of almost uh, like uh, paint dripped and uh, and and like this i really like this kind of um of texture and all that thing so that's why i want to also to to show you guys um, how to do this like simple um logo reveal so all right we got we have our displacement going on we can also put this a little bit bigger but you have to to see if this is not happening so if this is happening you can just put this a little bit lower and so you so you guys can um, feel all your screen if you guys have a bigger text uh, to put over here it will um, it will reveal everything so that's what i say i really like this kind of um like a paint trip so like a like a brush uh, paint and uh, this is going to be uh, be really looking cool uh, on the animation so we have our animation done over here this is just a basic animation i just wanted to set up this uh, so you guys um know how to put this um how to put this on the um, on the logo and uh yeah all right so we got we have our animation all done over here and i kind of guess i messed this up a little bit but we're going to fix this in two seconds so i'm gonna Control c to copy this animation and i'm going to to make uh, another layer so i put a new solid uh, this is going to be animation okay and i'm going to put this one off and what i need to do uh, i was doing this wrong so what i need to do over here uh, is go over here and uh, pre-compose this one i'm going to pre-compose it and okay so now we can already uh, put the alpha channel uh, working with this one so the only thing that i need is just to copy paste onto this so i'm going to control v and i'm going to set all the um, all the animations that we did uh, for this um, for this layer so things are going good and now if i go here on my logo or text and if i press alpha this should be revealing uh, your logo like this so as you can see you probably don't see a lot of detail uh, when it's like small but i guess it has a really cool detail so the thing that we're going to do to give a little bit of randomness uh, to this i really like this kind of spikes this probably can be used for for some paint trips or from some more animation but uh, i'll probably gonna play with this a lot more i just wanted to show you guys uh, like the basic setups uh, for this so this is really easy to do as you guys saw uh, and now what i what i'm going to do uh, is gonna i'm going to put this one also in a pre-compose layer and this is going to be the logo 2 all right got logo 2 and i'm also gonna put okay we got this logo 2 and i'm going to copy my animation that i have because it's, what we need is a second animation Control c uh, or Control d only you can control this uh, d over this one and if you put this on uh, you, you see it like this one but what we're going to do we're going to this uh, the second logo and we're going to put an effect uh, or no we're going to put a layer styles we're going to put up a gradient overlay on this one and we go into this gradient overlay we're going to pick the first one to a red and we're going to the second one 
can just randomize this to kind of blue and we should have this already going on so as you guys see over here you don't see the animation or nothing so what you guys need to do is just to put this uh, uh, this uh, animation comp um, on top of the logo and you're going to put the logo off and you're going to turn your animation or no I guess it's kind of like this all right you got to put this logo on alpha track so I guess it's like this yeah you have this one with this color showing on and um, and what you guys are going to do what I did on the first animation I just uh, got these two ones and I bring them uh, below the logo and offset this just a little little bit I just offset this a little bit so you can have the first animation with um with this kind of colors with this gradient and then it will show the rest of the animation uh, like this so as I said this is a really um, simple animation but I think uh, you guys can do a lot of good stuff uh, with this uh, kind of effects only with one layer and um, it's like that I, I didn't make tutorials for quite a while and um, I was uh, really excited to make uh, and bring something new to the channel something new for you guys because um, I really miss uh, this channel so uh, I'm probably gonna put a lot more videos in the, in the near future because I'm preparing uh, some stuff for Cinema 4D and also some new intros so um, hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip so if you guys have any questions or any doubts just put it on a comment section down below um, and i will also put um, just a small folder uh, with this logo uh, for you guys to follow up the tutorial uh, as i did or if you guys want to download the um, the template that i did i'm going to put uh, for you guys to download but uh, with a donation of uh, one dollar so i think it's really really cheap or it's just a the kind of support that you guys uh, can do for the channel so if you guys can do some uh, uh, if you guys want to download this and give some donation uh, so you guys can support our work and um, and uh, for us to keep uh, making uh, cool things for you and uh, keep searching uh, new animations for you guys' projects um, you guys are really welcome uh, to do that uh, if you guys just want to follow up the tutorial just do that guys so follow up the tutorial and um, uh, send me your your uh, animations to, to twitter or even uh, on the um, on the comment section down below so i'll see you guys in the next video probably this week or uh, with cinema 4d because i'm working on some intro and also on some stuff so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and i'll see you guys on the next video peace